on a serious note now, and do you always believe comedians when they say that, don't you? On a serious <laughs> note now, self-defence, very important issue for women. I've, I have to admit, up until quite recently, the only form of defence I knew was if I felt I was being followed by someone, I'd just turn around, grip them by the shoulders, look them straight in the eye and say, look, you're a creep. But I've got a feeling I'd like to have a long-term committed relationship with you. <laughs> but I'd usually have them screaming in the opposite direction. Yowza! But I don't, <laughs> I don't have to resort to cheap jokes like that anymore. Because I'm a lethal weapon ever since I bought a book a couple of weeks back. Uh, printed a few years back, but I think you'll agree just as relevant today. Yes, Bob Jones, hands off. <laughs> and here we see Bob, or should we just say Mr. Denham? And you might see his lovely pupil is, of course, the gypsy herself, Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Girls, it's full of tips. If you're ever confronted by a flasher, remember this line. I've seen better knobs on toilet doors. <laughs> and it's good night from me and it's good night from him. And here's a great photograph and a good bit of advice. Don't let a man who looks like Charles Bronson do a smooth move like this on you. <laughs> Oops. Is that your left breast in my vice-like grip? <laughs> That's so natural, it's kind of turning me on. But now, let's just move, let's stop mucking around. Let's actually meet a woman who learned from the man himself. Very, very exciting moment for The Late Show. Please welcome Stevie Nicks. see how much Stevie has learned from Bob because what man in his right mind would attack a woman that looks like this and if you're not put off by the shoes the shawl or the roots we guarantee you'll be put off by this meet the man who's responsible for those moves. Yes, we've got him here tonight, Mr. Bob Jones! Hands off! Hands off! Yes, Mr. Bob Hands Jones. Off! Bob, you know Stevie, of course, Stevie Bob. Hands off! <laughs> This is going to be really relaxing. <laughs> Bob, you've got a couple of diagrams I think you'd like to go through for us. That's right, Jude. That's what you ladies out there. You ladies out there. You know about the crime rate that's happening in our world. I think you should speak up, Bob. <laughs> One murder every 23 seconds. One robbery every 50 seconds. One nipple cripple every 40 seconds. And that hurts. <laughs> And uh, one extremely poor joke every 20 seconds. And we're right on target there. <laughs> now, what have we got happening here with this, uh, with this traffic light business? Oh, uh, yes, Judith. It's the hands off traffic light system. Sorry, it's the. Hands off <laughs> traffic light system. Red denotes hands off. I think we've covered that. I think we have. Yeah, it looks at psychological. Psychological. That's a long word. We're all impressed. Psychological. Ways of deterring your attacker. Men are vulnerable in three areas. One, the eyes. Two, the genitals. Three, ego. Ah. So what you're saying, Bob, is yep. to say you were attacking me, and I were to say something like, "Hey, Bob, if you lost that mustache, you'd be a dead ringer for Ted Mulry." Oh, stop it! <laughs> See, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Green looks at physically deterring your attacker. Uh huh. The ladies out there, out there should know that in your handbag there are items that you can use to do this. One, hairbrush. Two, car keys. Or three, simply a pencil. Mind you, if you're going to use a pencil, make sure it's the one for the Tony White commercial. It's a big prop, and I'm glad I used it. A big prop for a big man. Now, Hands well, off! <laughs> can I try that? Actually, no. Hands okay. off! Bob, just before you go, thanks very much for coming. Thanks, yes, Stevie. Thanks, like Stevie. <laughs> thanks, Stevie. Hands off. Bob, just a bit of a personal question. Yes. Can I 
Bob. <laughs> Bob, do you ever turn off? Oh, is yes. there another side to Bob Jones? There definitely is. If you saw me tomorrow, you wouldn't recognise me. If you saw me in the street, I'd be a completely different person. I'd just blend in with the crowd.